All right, let's have a look at the next problem. Okay, so let me delete this crap from here. And write a program to read n number of exam scores, integer percentages in the range of 0 to 100, for n number of students. The grades for each student will be input by the user. The program should then print the original grades and the average for each student. Now this one is actually um, quite difficult. I wouldn't suggest that you, um, you know, tackle this in the exam because it's kind of ridiculous and uh, to do it properly you would need to use a, a data some data structure like an array or a two-dimensional array this solution that I'm gonna put right now is a, a very very inefficient <laughs> and, and like if you did that in, in like a real-world setting it's kinda the equivalent of, of uh, you know going to a business dinner and, and tucking the the tablecloth inside your, the, the neck of your shirt to use it as <laughs> to use it as a uh, as a bid, so um, we're gonna call it in students, public class and students. And the reason I'm gonna do it is because it's much easier this way with the array. It's it, it would be a two-dimensional array, and and those get complicated, and you need drawings and stuff. And uh, I don't want to do that right now. I mean, you don't need drawings, either drawings or trial and error with the compiler either or will suffice and I don't really want either of those right now I'm gonna do it uh, with notepad so class and students and what do we do we read an exam score so we're just it's a class that runs some code and what does that mean main method main string array arguments right and we have the end of our main, the end of our class, and um, okay, it takes uh, n percentage of uh, test scores, right? And I'm purposefully not going to include, uh, I mean, I'm going to use a scanner, I'm purposefully not not going to include it because I don't think it's important. Um, you know, these days we have NetBeans and Eclipse and stuff, Control Shift I is all the import knowledge you need. Uh, so we're going to do scanner, scan, or in, new scanner system dot in okay and then we do you know we're gonna start inputting grades one by one we're gonna create now we're gonna create a string uh, output okay and my plan for this thing let me do a, a little sidetrack here paint this is my plan for this thing right now um, we're gonna have crap. Okay. Apparently, I can't undo and paint. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. So, um, where was I? Okay. And student stuff. Okay. So we're gonna have uh, uh, our for loop, and we're gonna have our empty our, our string that starts out like right here at empty, and then we're just gonna as as the user inputs one grade, we're gonna uh, put like add to the string grade, and then n whatever, you know, um, grade. So so grade plus n because n is going to be the number of the iteration that we're in in our for loop plus uh, semicolon space plus um, then the user is actually going to input it right so then we do the scanner dot next in thing right there okay and that'd be interesting to uh, uh, this would be in dot next int whatever it would be interesting to see I'm gonna give uh, a couple of things a shot and uh, use this as a learning experience right now it'll be interesting to see how that program is able to uh, uh, if, w if we're able to do this are we gonna be able to do this without a loop mm, t -t -t probably not you know I was thinking that we could just have like our, our, our string output 
equals like a concatenation of something like grade one and then plus scanner dot next in right here plus and then grade two plus and then scanner dot next dot next uh, int right here so you I mean that would work in theory no that will give you an error definitely because you're trying to execute uh, two statements that make you wait actually I'm not even sure if that will give you an error or not but that's not how we can do it anyway we need to loop and uh, each iteration through the loop we're going to have an outer loop and each outer loop is going to run through the students so we're going to have you know go through students one by one and then in the inner loop go through grades one by one okay um, I don't even know why I brought paint up I guess I'm trying to teach too much let me get uh, down to business all right we have uh, where's our um, where's the body of the thing okay here and here's notepad and actually I'm gonna close paint I'll save that crap okay so string output equals that and you know we're just gonna add ask for the end since n is unknown in the problem we're just gonna do um system dot out dot print line enter your n right and um let's make it nice looking even though I wouldn't expect, I would hope that you wouldn't waste too much time with this kind of stuff in the exam. Uh, System the other print line, enter your in, and then we do um, output plus equals. Okay, need to get this little guy out of here. All right, so output plus equals um, in dot next mm, we're gonna call next should we call next let's, let's just call next line next line okay next line is safer than next because next uh, recognizes a bunch of different characters as the end of a token it really is looking for words next so you know if you put in a, a point in there like if the guy wants to put in a, a grade later on that's like 45.5 then it's gonna break your program and we don't want that so output plus equals in that next line good to go in that next line returns a string so that concatenates properly and um, now we're gonna do int int and we're gonna call it n equals integer dot parse int and what output uh huh okay and let's just specify here whole number only okay all right so we have now our n as an int and we have uh bu bu actually let's take this out we totally don't need this huh. enter your n whole number only <coughs> what we're gonna do here instead I don't even know what my brain is in n equals in the next line <coughs> that way we don't have to catch it as um, a string and then parse the integer and now we're gonna get to the meat of the program okay I'm really having a hard time with these rendering issues okay so for the meat of the program we're gonna do four int i equals zero zero now nah, let's make it one i less than or equal to n i plus plus and then in here we have uh, four int j equals one j less than n uh, j plus plus okay basic strategy here we're gonna have the inner loop is just gonna be asking for them grades right 
the inner loop is going to be asking for the grades of each student. So like we, we like I drew it on paint. The inner loop is going to be asking for the grades of each student and um, adding them to the string. Just concatenating that, that stuff to the string. So we ask for grade in here get grade from scanner and um, blah 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 where are you uh, and um, this we don't really need a separate step for this append to output string okay and then at the end so once this uh, inner loop has run its course once and we're back at the outer loop what are we gonna do similar to the stars problem we're gonna print a new line you know print uh, the average and a new line good to go okay so we're gonna ask for the grade first uh, I hate notepad you can't control backspace so ask for the grade uh, system dot out dot print line enter Okay, enter. I'm going to move this here for a second. Okay, resizing my little window so you guys can see. Okay. Enter student. Then we're going to do student. We're on student I right now. Student I, apostrophe S. Student I's. Um, and we're entering the jth grade. J -th grade. Okay. So enter. So if when this is you know running through the loop, it's gonna run through student one. It's gonna ask for grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, and blah blah blah. And then for student two, it's, it's gonna say enter student two's grade one, enter student two's grade two, enter student two's. Uh, uh, Actually, yeah, let's change it to that. Grade, because once and, s and you know, when, when J is one, we were asking for the once grade. It's not really a word. Um, enter student once grade number. And we have J plus, okay. Now that works, and it makes more grammatical sense. And then, goodness, let's see if we can control the. Oh uh, yeah, we can control the lead. Nice. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so we're. Uh, what do we need to do? put it into the scanner. So now all we really need to do is, you know, those two steps, put it into the output and get it from the scanner and put it into the output string. We could simply do output plus equals, right? And um what was the name of our scanner? In. In dot next line. And let me see yeah that should work. I don't think next line includes the actual no line character. So we appended it to the output string already. We got it from the scanner. We appended it to the output string. We deleted too much stuff. Uh, okay. Okay. That's the end of our for loop. And uh huh. So now we're gonna print uh, the average and the new line. Okay. And um, here we could have inside here inside this loop right now. We call we create an int sum equals zero. Okay. All right. I'll put so we do. Okay, let's do it that way then. Sum plus equals in dot uh, next double. And we're gonna call that sum a double instead. Because if now we get a our program is crappy we don't so we have double sum and as we're going as we're asking for the grades we're adding each grade to a variable called sum and then we're uh, adding each grade to we haven't changed that yet so we're adding each grade to the output okay um, output 
equals output plus sum. Um, actually, let's do plus not plus sum. Uh, let's do it like this. Not being able to see what you're doing is really a pain. Uh -huh. Int temp equals this. Okay. Now sum plus equal we can do grade and j, right? Grade j is uh, temp. Right, that's our integer temp. Then we have plus. Then we have a comma, and then we're gonna this uh, right. So we're we're taking sum, which you know started out as an empty, and we just put grade um, uh, grade number one, for example. Grade grade number one is temp comma, space, grade number two is temp, it is what temp is next iteration, so, you know, we're just adding grade one is whatever the user input, grade two is whatever the user input, grade three is whatever the user input, and so on and so forth. Okay, oh, I messed this up. So this is the code for the string. Okay, so sum plus equal temp and output plus equals that. Okay, so now we're adding to our output string correctly instead of adding to the int and we're adding to our temp sum. Um, we're adding to our sum, to our total of the, the, the grades for this kid, our temp. Okay, and at the end of the loop, all we're gonna do again is print the average and a new line. So system dot out dot print line average plus and we just have sum divided by n okay and that is that um, let's add something here in the beginning to system dot out dot print line and we have grades for students and our student is I So, you know, we start each for loop as, in, you know, the outer for loop is for each student. We start out each for loop, so grades for student I. Um, actually, instead of printing that, we should just append it, append it to output. Output plus equals, because it's going to get confusing to the user if we print it. Right, and let's have a new line here. So we, uh, you know, we're just adding it to the output, and then we're printing enter student i's grade number j. Then the user enters grades for student i one by one. Blah 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 blah. We add them all to the output string. Then that's what this inner loop does. The user enters grades one by one. We add them all to the um, output string, and then in the end, after this inner loop runs its course, we're done entering all our end grades. We just um, uh, we're printing this again, which we shouldn't be doing. We should be adding it to output. Output plus equals average. Da da. All right, and. Then here after this whole loop runs its course, let's not forget the most important part is actually doing, you know, we did a bunch of stuff, we actually want to show it. So system dot out dot print print line mm, output. Okay. And I'm calling this one N students. Uh, come back into NetBeans, control N for new class and students uh, here shift F6 oh I have a couple of errors there Let's see uh, probably missed a couple of plus signs here let's see what I missed oh typo here and the imports of course so control shift I is gonna fix our imports 
Uh, we have all of this in that. Oh, this next int. You know, a couple of errors you make that you don't make when you have a compiler. I actually might let you guys make, and I, like I said, I forgot a plus sign here. M I actually may, may let you guys just make harder programs, but actually use your compiler. In temp, there's a casting error here. Uh, double temp typing error and now after those three errors our program should run so uh, enter your n whole numbers only so we're gonna have let's do two so that the program doesn't get ridiculously long enter student one's grade number one so 90 and 100 and then uh, what happened there uh, print line Let's see here. Why didn't we ask for less than or equal to n? I plus plus. Hmm. Okay, I see what I did. For some reason, you know, I did the outer loop correctly, less than or equal, and the inner loop. I didn't do less than or equal, so okay, let's try it again. No, it's just a typo. Probably wouldn't even notice that when grading. Enter your n is two. Enter student one's grade number one ninety. Enter student one's grade number two one hundred. We have it right. Enter student two's grade number one, let's say ninety five. Enter student two's grade number two one o five, and then it prints grade for student one. Like that. Mm. Average 95, we forgot to print, even though I wrote it when I did the pseudocode, we forgot to print the new line here. No big deal, you know. Again, I wouldn't even notice that stuff, but I'm a perfectionist and I want to run it com correctly right now. So 87 and 92, and then the other one is 95 and 100. So, oh no man, I put in 87 for N. No way I'm going to sit here putting in 87 grades. So let me try again. Run. Come on, buddy. Don't leave me hanging. Net beans. <laughs> Come on, net beans. Uh, let's try again. Okay, there we go. Net beans just, you know, sometimes get stuck. Computer sometimes get stuck in general. 97, this one grade. And 99, even though that's not rendering properly, I know for sure that's not rendering properly because of my screencast pro screencast program. But I know what I wrote there, um, and you know, now it popped up. So now we have a 91 and a 94. And oh goodness, again I made the same mistake. Enter your n. We enter n is two. Okay, so 99, 98. And then 91, 93, okay, grades for student 1, blah, blah, grades for student 2, blah, blah, okay, yay, hooray, that's it for this ridiculous problem, that this is one problem that I would actually probably consider giving you in an exam, which was open compiler. So if, if if I were to give you an exam, and you guys tell me what you think about it, if I can give you an exam where you can use NetBeans uh, or, or JCreator or something, and you know the pro the problems would be of this difficulty, and um, it, all the same usual rules apply. The best solution if some guy actually comes up with a solution solution involving a 2D array or an or a 1D array, which is even more difficult to implement, or an array list knock yourself out and you <laughs> definitely get the extra five bonus points for being the best solution in the class so let me know what you think about that and that is that for this problem